morning. Got to head out. Got some high winds up on the tops. We can go up and do a little bit of drift clearing. About a uh, quarter after seven right now. Running a little bit behind us. Hoping to be at the tractor by seven, but had a few delays this morning. Uh, about 24 degrees out. Um, sunrise just probably about 15 minutes away. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens up there. We were hoping to get one to three inches last night. And ended up with about a half an inch. But uh, we had some wind pick up, so we're going to go out and do some clearing. We'll see you again here in a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, up here in the tractor, just gonna video getting that bar and stuff put back on the weight brackets and uh, we ended up doing it outside and it was so cold the cameras weren't, uh, weren't acting right. So uh, we just stuck it together real quick and we're getting on the road, we're gonna go, we're gonna go do some drift clearing up there at Glen Alp. So. Should be a good day for it. Uh, temperature dropped a little bit up here. We're sitting about 19 degrees here. Up there at Glen Alps, we're probably gonna be down around 14, 15 degrees. Uh, should make for some good snow. Hopefully a uh, good day of, of drift clearing. So yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
driving some more. Got a heck of a view out there. Got the sleeping lady out there. The moon right over the top of her. Man, what a shot that is. too many cars show up we already got three cars in the parking lot nice to kind of get her cleaned up before uh, too many people get in the way nobody really thinks about common courtesy when they're parking they just want the closest spot available so we'll get her done
course it'd be nice to shoot over the top of these cars, but we don't do that. Never know, you get an ice chunk or rock or something that might come flying out of there. It's better not to shoot over the end of the top of any cars or buildings or whatnot. Just uh, too many things that could go wrong. So we try not to do that. Not try. We don't do that. broken PTO shaft shear pin which is that guy right so what happens is I shut the auger off because I was trying not to cover up the stairs and so I shut the auger off and turned it back on too quick had a jam full of snow and broke the PTO shaft. So what happens is that impeller in there gets plugged up with snow 
and then it's too much resistance for the shaft to spin and it snaps that bolt off. So you gotta clean the whole shaft out, clean the whole impeller out, and uh, free it up so you can spin that auger. And then uh, we'll just put a new bolt in it, be good to go. It's good because that breaks instead of having something else break. So uh, I'll grab some tools. battery won't die in the middle of changing this hopefully I can get enough enough juice to get her done shut this off make it a bit easier to hear what's going on hopefully the battery will stay up oh yeah we can spin it pull the bolts out new bolt goes in not too bad in the middle of the day with uh, not a lot of wind going but that's still a not a fun, fun process to do This one on here. Tighten her up. A little bit of downtime takes away from the production factor, but it's not the worst thing in the world to change. At least the snow is not really wet. If the snow is real wet, you got to get in there with a shovel and really dig that stuff out of there. But uh, all right. That's it, we should be back in business. Good to go.